Arterial blood gas or ABG gives vital information about oxygenation, ventilation, and acid-base status. We have discussed the oxygenation part in previous videos of this playlist. In this video, we will look into the approach we take to interpret acid-base balance. An ABG reports pH, PaCO2, bicarbonate, PaO2, oxygen saturation, and a lot of other parameters that are either directly measured or calculated. So, before beginning interpretation, it is essential to verify the internal consistency of the ABG values to rule out sampling errors. This is checked using the henderson hasselbalch equation, which mathematically relates pH, bicarbonate, and PaCO2 as follows. The measured pH from a blood gas test should closely match the calculated pH from the henderson hasselbalch equation if the values of PaCO2 and bicarbonate are correct. To illustrate this concept, suppose the measured pH is 7.25, the PaCO2 is 60 mm of mercury, and the HCO3 is 26 milliequivalent per liter. We now use the henderson hasselbalch equation to calculate the expected pH by using the measured bicarbonate and PaCO2. From the calculation, the calculated pH is approximately 7.26. Comparing the two, the measured pH is 7.25 and the calculated pH is 7.26, which is extremely close, differing by only 0.01 units. Such a minor difference is considered physiologically acceptable and confirms that the ABG sample is reliable and internally consistent. Here's another example. Let's say the pH is measured at 7.05, the PaCO2 is 30 mm of mercury, and the bicarbonate is 24 millimole per liter. Using the henderson hasselbalch equation, the calculated pH is 7.259. Thus, the calculated pH and the measured pH is showing a significant mismatch. Now the question is, do we not trust the report if there is a mismatch between measured and calculated pH values? Well, the first example we saw is applicable for conditions with simple acid-base disturbances without major interference from unmeasured factors. Examples include uncomplicated respiratory acidosis such as in COPD, simple respiratory alkalosis due to hyperventilation, isolated metabolic acidosis like early diabetic ketoacidosis before severe ketone accumulation, and straightforward metabolic alkalosis from vomiting or diuretic use. In these situations, the relationship between bicarbonate, carbon dioxide and hydrogen ion concentration remains predictable, allowing the henderson hasselbalch equation to accurately calculate a pH that closely matches the pH directly measured by the ABG machine. On the other hand, as shown in example 2, if measured pH and calculated pH mismatch significantly, the first step is to suspect a sampling error, such as air contamination, clot formation, or a delay in processing that allowed ongoing metabolism in the sample. If sampling error is unlikely, the next step is to consider technical problems with the ABG machine, including calibration or sensor issues. We have discussed these issues in ABG sampling video. Finally, if technical errors are ruled out, the mismatch may be due to true pathological causes such as the presence of unmeasured acids like lactate or ketones, which can disturb the acid-base balance in ways not fully captured by the standard bicarbonate and carbon dioxide measurements. These include severe lactic acidosis, advanced diabetic ketoacidosis with high ketone levels, renal failure with accumulation of sulfates and phosphates, and poisoning with toxins such as methanol, ethylene glycol, or salicylates. Mismatch is also seen in mixed acid-base disorder where multiple primary disturbances affect the bicarbonate and carbon dioxide levels simultaneously and unpredictably. For example, 
If a patient has both metabolic acidosis from sepsis and respiratory alkalosis from hyperventilation, the bicarbonate may be low and the carbon dioxide may also be low, but not in a manner that maintains a predictable ratio. Therefore, in mixed disorders, more advanced acid-base analysis methods, such as calculating the anion gap and using delta-delta assessment are needed to understand the true underlying problems. We will discuss them in subsequent videos.